from this piece of wood to an urn. Join me. It's an emotional project for me. I'm transferring this log of olive into an urn. It's emotional because I know where this urn goes to. It's a friend of mine that's lost a loved one. And I'll try to do the best to make a unique urn for him. Um, it's a big piece of uh, wild olive. And I'm starting by creating a tenon. Um, because I had to cut some pieces out with a with a saw, and here I'm just doing a small dovetail for the tenon, tenon, and I'm going to square it. I'm going to make it as a cylinder. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it step by step. I'm using a square carbine and a V carbine, and it's got a lot of abrasion, so I have to do it slowly slowly step by step i don't want to have a catch i'm worried that if i'll have a catch the whole thing will fly out um, and i'll have to start from the beginning so you can see here i'm just doing it step by step cutting a piece moving cutting a piece moving cutting a piece moving this way two things happens number one i'm not going to get a catch this way number two it's going to be more or less uh, quite square This piece of wood's got a lot of waves um, and holes and uh, I'll plug them with, with resin a little bit later. Um, I know more or less the colors that I have in my mind. Um, I can't play with too many colors because um, there is not enough space for it. So they will mix between them. From experience, by the end of the day, it will be one dominant color that will take over most of them. I'm just drawing... Um, the idea of I have for the urn just for myself so I can when I start shaping it I've got an idea what I'm going to do uh, I've got the, the the idea of the urn in my head and what I'm going to do I'm going to use the parting tool the black line parting tool and I'm going to do it in two steps step number one will be the urn the step number two will be the the lid um, and I discovered that in some places this wood is a little bit still moist. I hope it's not going to buckle and I hope it's not going to crack on me. What I'm doing now is I'm going to put a ring and a, a wall around it. So I can fill it up with resin. And uh, it's not going to spill onto the sides. In the back of it, you will see it now if it turns around. No, I didn't, I didn't turn it around. What I done is I had another place with a hole that I plugged and I, pl I put the, the um, with hot gun glue and a piece of plastic I put on top of it. Here, I made a mistake that's going to bite me later. I tried to save a little bit of resin, so I put um, old resin that I shaving resin that I had and those uh, shaving resin created little bit of bubbles later. going to start with the neck and um, after I, um, I got to the neck to the right measurement of the neck then it will be easier to shape the rest of it to this uh, to the to the wall to this wall
In a second you will see the bubbles that I got and the imperfections so I will have to try and solve it somehow. I'm using the knitting tool just to make like a ring around it and um, I'm going to do a, um, a depth neck. What I mean by that is I'm going to, the, the, the lid will sit on top of the neck, uh, not in the middle. So it will be the, 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 um, the area where it's hollow, it's not going to be closed, it's going to be closed around it. Uh, to save time, I drilled all the way to the end, I drilled with a 70 millimeter drill all the way to the bottom and then I'll hollow it and I'll shape it on the inside. I'm lucky I've got a Nova and I um, could move the head aside so it will be easier for me to hollow it because uh, my tool that's um, Jim, Jim Clue's uh, tool and I've got only a left side one I don't have a right side one so I couldn't work with the reverse speed so I had to move it aside and uh, I managed to hollow and to get the shape of the outside also on the inside I'm using the black line round tip just to hollow it to clean it on the other side. What I done is uh, I put another another layer of gel resin on top with a little bit of sparkling and um, I made some small holes in the place that um, um, there was the pinholes. I just increased the holes a little bit with a Dremel and I um, Put a, I put a resin, a gel resin that you saw me using before, and now I'm creating the the space. I'm creating the the lid to fit exactly the the neck of the of the the vase or uh, the urn. The, uh, the urn. With the editing tool, I'm creating another ring. So the two rings, one of one on the urn and one of the lid, will be uh, similar or almost identical, and it will give it um, a feeling that it's it's a one piece and it's not connected in this area. That's what I'm trying to to to, to achieve. Um, you will see it's a little bit black over there. The only reason is that I don't know. Here it is. You see that I'm doing again. What I'm doing with the um, with the Dremel, the holes that we discussed it, and I'm going to fill it up again. That is um, the second layer. The first one didn't come out so nice, so I done it again, and uh, this time you saw it on, on how it looks like. And now I'm going to um, sandpaper it from 80 all the way to uh, 400. You saw when I made the lid on the inside of the lid, so it will fit uh, the um, 
urn, I drilled also inside. So what I done it, I done it on purpose. So I could hold it back again on the leads as a recess. You won't notice this. And now after I finish everything, uh, to reduce the to reduce the risk of uh, of the piece of olive uh, cracking and sh moving shape, and I'm going to uh, put um, a quick setting resin. It's a UV resin from Alumalite, and um, by doing that, it will reduce the sp the speed that the um, wood will dry. So there is a big chance that it will not crack. The, the light that you saw earlier was the light of the blue light for the for curing the UV light for curing the resin, the, the Lumalite UV resin. And now I'm dealing with the, with the base and um, preparing it for a um, place for my logo. I, I, I put the logo deep quite deep inside on purpose I didn't want it to jump out because that's not the that wasn't the issue is not me the issue is the family so it's quite deep inside it doesn't jump into your face so this is my uh, urn project I hope it shows that I'm showing respect to the family and for the deceased one and I will see you on my next video.